Charlie, thank you very much. I didn't know I was going to speak tonight. I thought I was coming to get some good Indian food. Um, but it is great to see some good friends here, and, and thank you so much for not just uh, allowing me to come by and visit you, for what you do for the Republican Party and for our common cause, which I, I see behind us, which includes economic freedom, political freedoms, uh, fighting against terrorism, and standing together as in, uh, incredible allies. I remember uh, when I was U.S. Trade Representative, I'm now a U.S. Senator from the state of Ohio, but when I was U.S. Trade Representative, I started what was called the Trade Policy Forum in India, which continues to this day, and has helped to break down some of the trade barriers between our countries. And I did it because that year we had about $30 billion of trade with India and about $300 billion of trade with China. And I thought, this is not right. These are our friends, these are our allies. We need to break down these barriers. Uh, the first uh, success we had, and my counterpart was Kamal Nas, some of you know him, uh, who's been minister of just about everything, but he was trade minister then. But the first great breakthrough we had was getting Indian mangoes into the United States of America. So if you like Indian mangoes, and they are really sweet and, and, and delicious. Um, so Shali, thank you for putting this together and, and for what you all do. Let me just say on a, on a serious note, uh, we have an extraordinary opportunity together, the United States and India, to, to work more closely on every issue, including terrorism, but also on economic issues. And I had the uh, great pleasure a week ago Sunday to have dinner in Ohio uh, with Ambassador Singh. Some of you know him. He's a career diplomat. He's been everywhere, including Moscow and the United States previously as the, as the number two person here. He does a good job representing India. And the point I made to him was, this is a relationship that is already good, but that can be great. And I know that, uh, you know, sometimes we have differences with, with India on specific issues, whether it's trade issues, economic issues, but there's something much deeper. The world's largest democracy and the world's longest democracy need to work more closely together on all issues, including our mutual economic growth and, and fighting terrorism. So I know that everyone in this room has uh, strong feelings about that relationship and want to grow it. And let me say also that I'm very proud and know how to work closely with our Indian community. We happen to have a, a very well organized community in Ohio, the Asian Indian Alliance, some of you know, maybe some of you know uh, Vinny Gupta and others we work closely with. It is an incredibly important part of our economy in my home state of Ohio. Uh, many Indian entrepreneurs, many doctors, many business people, uh, engineers, and so on. And we are very proud of the fact that we have a thriving Indian community in my home state of Ohio, and we work very closely with them. So again, thank you very much for allowing me to come by and visit briefly. I, I do hope there's some food involved at some point. Um, <laughs> And uh, to all of you here, you know, thanks for standing up for these values that are, that are listed behind me. I think our country is at a, is at a point of inflection. You know, we can, we can go either way. We can become more like some of our European friends and more government and, and more bureaucracy and more taxes and regulations. And we can also go another way, and that's the way that each of you um, uh, have chosen to go by joining the Republican Party. And for those of you whose parents or grandparents or great-grandparents came from India, some of you may have come you came with a thought in mind, and that was to achieve your dream, which was, once you got here, the American dream, which is a dream that my forebears had, and, and uh, that's what we must continue to permit, which is anybody who works hard and plays by the rules can get ahead in this country. And that involves, and the Indian community has proven that time and time again, that through education and through hard work, uh, this community as a whole has made incredible progress. And that is the promise that we must keep for future generations. Thank you all.